All right, I'm having my coffee here, and I got a, uh, somebody wrote in the comment, like, why do you keep saying the banks are going to buy XRP? The banks are going to use XRP. They're going to use XRP just to move money. Listen. Listen to me. You. You're not understanding. That's what you're talking about moving money, but you're not talking about tokenization projects. You're not talking about the bank has assets on the management that they're going to tokenize. And then when they tokenize them, it's going to have a value. So X amount of coins on the token. That's one of the reasons why they snatch it up. That's what you need to understand. Yeah, maybe your bank down the block that gives you half a calendar. Yeah, maybe they're just going to use ODL service and move money back and forth like a giant, you know, money gram. That's maybe fine. But major banks have assets. Just think mortgage contracts. Just think about things like that. Everything will be tokenized, okay? Even your father's crocs. There's no way around this. So at the end of the day, before you put out something, you go, what, maybe what is Lou talking about? Real simple. XRP is more than just a bridge currency. The real worth of it is the fact that they could tokenize everything on this blockchain. That's the one thing that Bitcoin doesn't have. This lends itself to tokenization. That's why XDC on the on the ETH, that's why that thing has value. The tokenization selling fast. You know how they can move assets on the management? The ETH? I mean, that's the real wealth of the big banks, okay? So with that, hold on a second. Dun, dun. I wear your father's Crocs when I visit your mom in your father's house. Your father's on his pillow like, this is a strange clone. I'm like, do you like it? <laughs> the mom was like, stop wearing the Crocs around the house, Lou. X-Force. <laughs>